All right. Hey YouTube, this is F34 Dave. Um, I decided to make a video of how I installed my grill alarm. I got the 8017. I know it says 8007 right there, but the 8017 comes, I guess, with the remote pager, which is very handy. Um, basically, you can be sitting inside somewhere, pager goes off, up to a uh, quarter mile you're notified and come out and kick his ass so this is a 2009 R1 and I just want to show you how easy it really is basically and another thing I have the top half of the bike off because I'm also installing a TOS Toshi Tuki however you want to pronounce it exhaust which required removing these bolts and I'm waiting for it patiently um, but anyway, once I had this torn off to install the exhaust, I saw how it really exposed my uh, alarm system. And since you guys have helped me out with numerous videos in the past, I decided to make my own. Um, it's a 2009 R1, and normally you'd have your seat here. You pull that off, and I attach the unit with Velcro here. And it is a very simple wiring harness. You basically have, I have the transponder for the uh, remote paging system which I mounted right here behind the battery all with velcro uh, that's one of the leads that connects to the harness which connects to the alarm <laughs> you have your positive and negative appropriately colored red and black and then the tilt sensor um, I decided to mount right here you have the opening where your little toolkit goes and right there's the tilt sensor. Very, very easy. Tilt. Transponder behind the battery right there. The negative and positive. Uh, one thing I decided not to use, this little end here is for a LED light, which you could mount somewhere on the bike to uh, show that you have an active alarm. And I didn't really feel like warning people about it. So, and I didn't want to drill into my plastics. So, like I said, the unit with Velcro just mounts under your back seat there. You feed the wires through. Everything's plug and play. It's really simple. Really cool alarm. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to call on this blue one here. Just so you know, that's the antenna. And I just ran it under here. Works great. I've had it go off a couple times. And uh, obviously, I still have my bike. And uh, I love it. Like I said, you know, it's not necessary to remove the top half of the seat, which you see here. I did that so I could get to these bolts to install my alarm. If you have any questions, email me. Uh, see ya.